Welcome to the demonstration of key feature differences between on-command API services and NetApp Manageability SDK. Let's take a problem statement. As a developer, John wants to develop a tool that manages NetApp resources in his data center. Should he opt for NMSDK or API services? In this video, we will demonstrate the key feature differences between API services and NMSDK and we hope at the end of the video, John can make a better decision on which tool to use. As an overview, the key differences between API services and NMSDK are as shown. In terms of standard used, API services uses the REST API industry standard for HTTP transport, whereas NMSDK makes use of NetApp proprietary SOAP based calls. In terms of scoping difference between API services and NMSDK, API services gives a data center wide scope. All the clusters are added onto a single API services machine. Whereas the scoping of NMSDK is restricted to a single storage virtual machine. Let's take a look at the code level changes in API services implementation and NMSDK implementation. On the left, we can see API services c -sharp code being used. A detailed look at that code can give us the idea that API services uses the key value pairs for interaction. The output is returned as a JSON or XML object for better processing. And the user need not be aware of the internal implementation details of the storage. Whereas in NMSDK, the developer should be aware of all the NetApp libraries and the associated types for it. And the code is also different for each programming language since it does not follow the REST API protocol. Now going to the execution of both of those codes. On the left, when API services code is executed, the REST API calls are in action and we get a response of all the available storage virtual machines and their detailed overview. Whereas on NMSDK, the developer has to be aware of the internal library details and their structure. Running a request on API services gives you a XML or JSON response, which is easy to read as it is key value pair. Whereas the output from NMSDK is given as a nested XML, which has nested the list implementations. In terms of the role-based control, API services provides an inbuilt role-based access control with different users specified for different operations. Whereas NMSDK, the logic of role-based access has to be custom written. In terms of auditing of on-command API services and NMSDK difference, all post put actions on API services are tracked as jobs, asynchronous jobs. The job history is maintained as long as the user purges policy. These jobs can be queried using REST APIs in order to track the completion of the job. And also we can use a verbose option if we would like a more detailed execution flow. Whereas in NMSDK, the intelligence for auditing has to be built in into the tool. This covers all the key feature differences between on-command API services and NMSDK. For more information on API services, please visit mysupport.netapp.com.